the first channel so today's video we'll be looking at how to send sms using a um, go and twilo api so here i have my twilo dashboard i'll be leaving a link in the video description on how to uh, create an account on twilo because that's one of the prerequisites to um, sending the email so you need an account to type twilo i need some um, some ids and some tokens so before we go into the code i'd like to mention that if you are new to the channel make sure you subscribe to the channel and um you also hit the notification bell and put it to um, all notifications so when i release new videos you'll be the first to be notified and also after watching the video if you like the content of the video make sure you leave a thumbs up and if you are not new on the channel you've been watching videos and follow some reason you haven't subscribed and um, please help me and um, go to the channel by subscribing i really appreciate it and also um leave a thumbs up if you like the content of the um, video after watching the video so this video is going to be a very short one because the code is very very short it's pretty straightforward so twilio has made everything um, very easy send sms very very easy so with that that's the first thing you need to do so you have to create a twilio account i'll leave a link in this video description to the sign up page for twilio that's the first thing and here on this account tab i have the um github for the official sdk for twilio and go so this is not the i sdk twilio slash go twilio so we import it in our code and start looking at our code so this is where i got all the code for so reading through the documentation is really detailed so i also leave the link this link i'll leave it in the video description also so this is very very detailed they really did a good job great job with this documentation so you can easily go here and pick up just copy and paste code then you just make some changes and your code will be up and running in no time that's basically so after i create an account you'll be asked to verify your email address so that is also a pretty straightforward step after verifying your email address you you need to create a twilio phone number at least they'll be giving you a free trial so that free trial they'll be giving you like a phone number that you can use for your free trial so they say all your accounts in trial you can get a free usa or canadian phone number and if you want to get a local phone number you need to upgrade your account and upgrading means you need to like um key in some um, card details and stuff but for now just for the of this video we don't need to go that far so we just create a new account thing there will be a button here but me i've actually created a phone number but if i haven't created a phone number there'll be a button that they'll ask me to click to create a phone number so once i click that button a phone number will generate for me automatically and to be attached to my account so that is the first step and down here the second step is what you need so the first thing here is your account side so we'll be needing this in our code and the second thing is the auto token so this one is meant to be private so nobody's meant to see this one that's why it's actually in password format so if i press show it will show by own pressure so because it's meant to be private so this should be still as an environmental variable when you are working with it or and shouldn't be pushed to a public repository where other people can have access to it so then the third thing we need is your twilio phone number which is what you created in step one here so that will also be here once you create it and this is basically the phone number that was generated for me for my trial account so that's basically so those are the three things we'll be needing so in our code the first thing we'll be needing so this is the code this is very very short so just start six lines so the first thing we'll be needing is to create a twilio client so to create a twilio client we can use two functions basically so if you go to the twilio documentation so the first one is you can just call from package twilio we can call new rest clients then you can also call new rest clients with params so this new rest clients with params is one i'm using because this one takes in a twilio clients params and this twilio clients params has two fields username and password so this username is the account sid and the password is basically us token so you can just get those two for me account sid and the us token so that's what i have here so i store the them as an environmental variable so the first one is the Twilio account SID, which I put as an environmental variable, and my auto token also as an environmental variable. So those are the two things that we need. Then after that, we can always just call on this particular client um, variable that we have. We can just call the um, the field API. Then we we'll call the method create message on that field, and this method create message takes in a Twilio API dot create message param. So this create message param is basically a struct, which is this here, and this is coming from this particular package here. So if I go back to the documentation, it is right in the documentation. So if I come down to send a text message, and this is it here. So this is the param that they created. So you're just using methods on that param to set their to their form. But basically, you can actually write that into this because if I over on it here, I'm seeing that it has a to field. Then it has a form field somewhere. Yeah, this is the form field. Then it also has a body field. So the two is where the message is coming from, which is basically the phone number that was generated for me here on my Twilio dashboard, which is this here. I've an environmental variable also. Then the two field, oh sorry, the two field is my own phone number, which I've as an environmental variable. So I don't want to show it because it's um, something that is meant to be private, at least as far as I'm concerned. So my phone number shouldn't be out there on YouTube. Then the front field is basically this phone number that actually generated for me, which is this phone number here. Then that is what is going to be here. 
then the body is just message I want to send. So I'm sending this message early one to myself on my phone. So that's it basically. So I'm passing it into this create params, create message params type from um, this particular package here. So like I said, you can reference it from the documentation right here. So that is basically what they are also doing here. But I was just using methods to set their two, their from and their body. But I'm taking a slightly different route. But if we, if we use this particular route that is used in their documentation, you still arrive at the same thing. So it doesn't really matter. So from there, I'll just pass that into this create me message method on this um, field API from this client variable that we have here. Then I'll check for the if there's an error. Then if there's no error, this the return value we'll be having is going to be a response. And this response is a pointer type. So I'm refreshing it here. So once I do refresh, I'll just marshal it. Because if I don't marshal it, it's going to be giving me just the um, some kind of X code since it is actually um, a pointer type. So I'm just refreshing it and I'm marshalling it. And when I marshal it, I'm going to be having a slice of Python I'm converting it to string to get the actual message as a string. And I'm printing that out. That's basically the code. Very simple and straightforward. Just start six lines. So from there, I'll just run the code. So I can't show you my phone, but basically I'll receive the message once I run this code. And it works. Very simple. Oh, maybe my internet is not on. Let me just check. I think I actually switched off my internet. So sorry for that. Let me just quickly check. And let's just wait for my internet to connect. For some reason, my internet is down. I thought I had it on. So I'll just try to bring my phone close to my microphone when I run the code and it goes. So I hopefully the vibration of my phone enters the microphone to show that I've actually received the message. But all things being equal, I should receive the message. This is taking too long to connect. Why? It shouldn't take this long. So let me try again. It's still connecting. Oh, that is it. So it has connected now. So I just want the code. So I just try to bring my phone close. So the message has been sent. Yeah, that is the sound. So I just received the message. So if you if you can just um, backtrack the video a little bit, you hear um, a an alert sound just now. So that is the message entering my phone. So that is basically the way it works. And this is just the response from the message on the successful sending. So that is just it for this video. So before I end the video again, I'd like to mention that if you are new to the channel, like I have just subscribed, and um, please subscribe to the channel. And um, if you like the content of this video, also leave a thumbs up. Then um, if you're not new to the channel and you've been watching videos also for some reason you haven't subscribed also, and um, hopefully you subscribe now. And um, I really appreciate it if you do that. So that will be it for this video. Cheers.